this is her view. I am only exercising the powers which by law are wasted in me. So that is, but I am not going to question her opinion. She is entitled to her opinion. But, but sir, Haina sir, like uh, our uh, Hindu minister says that uh, you are uh, doing against the High Court verdict. That's why we are asking... Uh, read the High Court. Read the High Court verdict. We had gone seeking clarification. And High Court said that in the light of the Kannur University judgment, the Chancellor has every authority to act in accordance in accordance in the light of the judgment of the Supreme Court and UGC regulation. <coughs> Read the judgment. It has been given only day before yesterday. Why I was waiting for last more than a month? It was only after it was clarified by the Honorable High Court that we have appointed uh, the two men yesterday, but two persons. Says, uh, minister says, uh, like a governor has done Minister, that. you want to deny her the right to have no, her no, opinion? No, just for clarification we are asking. No, like, what is the clarification? Sir, that that does not deserve. there was a serious crisis uh, regarding the appointment in university. That time you didn't give any appointment or anything. I am you were giving a double duty to a person. But now suddenly you gave an appointment and uh, regarding that... Double even, duty to whom? Sajji Gobnath. Saji Gopida. Ah, yeah. He was the vice of the... But that was at that time because the Honorable High Court had said and there is a provision in the act of these two universities that government has... can government... Uh, the right uh, of the government to recommend names. On the basis of that recommendation, I have given charge to him. But now Honorable High Court has clarified day before yesterday day before yesterday you do not care to read yes, sir, but your problem is but you do not care to read but still the government but, but still the, gov but still the government is by by whatever they may be saying the judgment of the honorable high court has only been given day before yesterday you read it and then you come to me Yes, yes, sir. But uh, same thing. The minister is saying that the governor has what? turned against the uh, high court verdict, and also then, governor then didn't they even can, uh, then 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 advise them. You can advise them to go to the high court. Yes, the minister is saying that. Ha, so it's okay. To... It's okay as far as I am concerned. I am not going to comment on the opinion of the education minister. She has every right to say whatever she wants to say. Everybody has the right in democracy. What I have done is, after the position was clarified by the Honorable High Court, clearly, I have exercised the powers wasted in me by the act of the university at the UGC regulations. And people in these universities were really, uh, they were not even receiving the certificates, the diplomas, anything. Vice Chancellor needs to sign them. So, Day before yesterday, the order came from the Honorable High Court. Why I did not appoint anybody during last one month? Because we have moved the High Court, Honorable High Court, to seek clarification. They have clarified. They have said the earlier judgment is no more applicable. They have said that the, Honor the, that the Chancellor is authorized to act. Chancellor has the power, not authorized, has the power to act in accordance with the judgment in the light of the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court and the UGC regulation. I speak, I can deal with only one person, sir, not okay, so sir. many people. Okay, sir. She is speaking from this side, you are speaking from that side. So you speak, give chance to her. You have already spoken. Yes. Sir, isn't it necessary to consult with the state government regarding the appointment? Show me the legal solution. The Honorable Supreme Court has said that the state government has no business your problem is you don't read. You are only trying to create sensation. Why don't you read? Just read the Kannur judgment. They said not even the pro-chancellor, because she happens to be the minister. Not even she has the right to interfere in the process of the appointment of the vice chancellor. Not a problem.